guys it is ultimate karma here and today i'm going to be doing a part one to what if deku was the son of satan from blue exorcist and in this one deku will actually not have a quirk well yeah it's not going to be a quirk it's more going to be natural abilities and what Deku will have is he will have super strength, um, it's called teleke- no, pyrokinesis, like regeneration, and um, telepathy. Alright, so now, s- alright, so now let's get into the what if. Now this is going to be part two of the second video of today. Two to three. Two of three. Okay, so, anyway. So, Deku, he will... So, like, his mom is not Inka Midoriya. It is actually another woman. I'm going to say that it's um, Rin's mom. And in this one, Deku doesn't have a twin. It's just going to be Deku. Like, he's not, he's not gonna have a twin like Rin has, does, so, it's gonna be just Deku. And then what happens is, Deku, when he's born, like, his mom dies, and then, and then, like, yeah. So, what happens is, what happens to Deku is that, he, he's found by someone and then yeah and then so it's like a priest and what they do is that oh uh they, yeah what they do is that they they find out that he's a son of satan and what they do is that they it's called they seal De- Deku's powers into the Kudakara sword. And yes, so and then what happens to Deku is that like they decide to put Deku like for adoption cuz I because since he's a son of Satan, like and he doesn't have his powers. Shouldn't he, like, have a normal childhood? Because they, like, more, like, nice in this game, in this one. And so, then he goes, um, and then Inko, his, then Deku's original, like, mom, in canon, Inko, Midoriya, he actually adopts Deku. What happens to Deku is that when that happens... Like, like they give, they give Dek, they give Deku's mom, um, the Kudakara sword, or the Ku, I forgot what the, what the other name is, I'm gonna call it the Kudakara sword, that's what its name is, so, yeah, like, the sword that Rin has in this one, and then, they don't tell um, Inko that he's actually the son of Satan. So they just like give. De- they just give um like Inko just the sword and said that it was found along with um Deku. And so Deku, so um Inko takes a sword and then like he yeah, she takes Deku and the sword and then like yeah takes it and then what happens to Deku is that like when he's growing up uh, uh, she put like a little like you know those like um glass containers like like well, not like display cases like glass display cases like that's what like, um, Inko did with the sword. It's like Deku's family heirloom. And then, this, 
like Inko noticed that Deku has like a strange, like, like strange connection with the sword. It's like not like, like oh, yeah. So like, other than like he's always near it, and he always like wants to take it. So, but and then what? Like she's like, well later, like when you when you learn how to. Yeah, so, I don't know. So, what happens is that... Deku... And so, when he's growing up, like, when he's four, he has to go to the doctor, to the cork doctor. And they say that he's corkless. And, yeah. So... When... What happens is that... Like, he still gets bullied... Cause he doesn't have a quirk, so yeah. So, but then like he's and then he um like his mom finally gives Deku the sword, and he like he's like he's like likes it, and he like looks really cool and stuff. What happens and what happens is that Deku like he doesn't want to pull it out. He doesn't want to damage it. Anything, because he's, he's he's afraid that it might be too old. And if he pulls it out, it'll like damn it, like it'll like break. Like he's just afraid of that, so he just like he puts it in his room. Like keeps it in his room, and then yeah, and he's wondering who his real mom is. Yeah, he wonders that. And then, yeah. So, he starts to get bullied. And, like, yeah. So, like, he, he wants to try to pull out the sword. Because he wants to see what the blade looks like. Like, except the handle. So, what he does is that he grabs the blade. And then he grabs the handle and the sheath. He pulls it out. What what happens is that Deku his sword like he sees blue flames everywhere and then he's then he like looks to his side he feels something odd in the and like it, on his like behind area on his like down so he looks and he sees a tail it's like what the heck where'd that tail come from and then he feels something on it weird in his head and he touches it and he feels like horns like small horns covered with blue flames and like he's like wondering what what is this then he he feels his ears no they're like pointy and then his and um Inko's mom I mean Deku's mom Inko like she comes into the room and then she sees Deku in, up in blue flames. And then she's like wondering, what is this? Did you unlock your quirk? And then like, what? Well, you must have a flame quirk. And then Deku's just like, I don't know. I just pulled out the sword. And you know, and Deku, like he says this. And then Inko thinks that like it just pulled out the sword and it and my flame and these flames come on me and he like cheats it and then like the swords like dissipate and he pulls it out again and he it like the blue flames appear and then he wonders and then wait what if the sword is my quirk this sword allows me to use bl blue flames like he just thinks that like he tells him like uncle that and then, and then, um, Inko's like, oh yeah, maybe you're right, maybe that is your quirk. Yeah, so, he's like excited, because he thinks that he finally has a quirk. And then so, the next day, so he's about like, um, eight, nine-ish. At this point, and then he brings the sword to school the next day. And they're like terrified, because they're like wondering, what the sword, what, why did he bring a sword to school? And he says that 
I finally found out my quirk. And I just the thing, like the them being terrified just like kind of stopped and just start laughing. And then and like he's like, no, I'm serious. And he grips the, the blade, like the handle. And he's like, duh, kind of scared. Like, what he what if what is he gonna do with the blade? And then he pulls it out and like blue flames erupt around him and they're like what the heck and then Deku says that I think this blade um like is my quirk like when I, I use these blue flames I like I'm allowed I, I can use my quirk and what happens is that like it's like, wait, wait a minute. Wow. I, and Bakugo's like, yeah, no way. Well, whatever. Even if that's your quirk, you can't. You still can't beat me. And he like tries to attack Deku because like, like, he wants to. And what Deku does is that he like swings the sword, and um, like the blue flames like appear, like they like cut, like he didn't like. Like sl slice Bakugo, but the, but the flames they touch him. He's like, what the heck? Like it's like really hot. He doesn't know how to control them. So, yeah. And then he's like wondering what the heck. So yeah, what happens to Deku is that. Yeah, so, just wondering, anyway, and they like start, I think start respecting Deku, like, yeah, and like he like starts getting happy, but then he realizes that he doesn't really have anything to carry it with, so what Deku does is that he, like he gets the same, he, he has the same thing that Rin has. It's like the red holster thing, like the cloth thing that he has in his shoulder. And I'll show you, I'll show you what the thing looks like next um, video, next, ep next episode or part. And then, yeah. And they're like just, and like, they, yeah, as, they start, as I said, they start respecting Deku. And then what happens is that. Oh, I'm gonna debate. Should I add demons in this? What if? Cause he's the son of Satan. And Satan has demons and stuff like that. So should I add demons to this part? I mean, to this, to this what if? And then what happens is that Deku. Yeah. So years go by. Um, he starts. He, he starts trying to control his blue flames, and he has a good grip on them. So, and he realized that he has super strength. And then, like, like, he learns that he could use, like, the blue flames. Even without, like, having the, sh the sword out. So, he starts trying to control it without the blade. And then, yeah, he, he has a good, he has some good control. And now we're at the start of the anime. And he's, like, walking home. And, like, he says he wants to go to UA. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, so like the teacher asks what what um quirk like what do you want to be when you grow up? He just like he he has papers up. He's like ah, I'm just kidding. He throws them up in the air. We, I know I don't know. We all know that you want to be heroes. And then the whole class starts cheering. Yeah, yeah. And then Deku. And then Bakugo is like, yeah, well, I know I'm, put me up with these losers. I'm going to be the next number one hero. I'm going to go to UA. And then Bakugo, and then Deku is like, ah, are you sure that you're going to be the next number one hero? I feel like I'm going to be the next number one hero. Well, not in that voice. It's like, he's like chill. He's like calm. 
he's kind of, he's like more confident because he realized that he had a quirk. So, yeah. And, and it's like, well, we all know that. <laughs> he says that I'm going to go to UA as well. And then, like, they don't laugh at Deku because he has this quirk. So, yeah. Um, anyways. So, what happens to Deku is that he basically, like, he leaves. And, like, he has his sword with him. Cause they, because they allow him to have his sword out because it's technically his quirk. His quote-unquote quirk. Anyway. So, what happens is that Deku, like, he's, like, he goes through the same shortcut that he goes through in the anime. And, like, he goes through the tunnel. And, like, the sludge villain appears. He's, like, all right, kid, let me take over your body. And Deku's, like, uh, nope. I ain't having that. And then, like, he pulls out his sword. And, he, like, he, like, takes the uh, blade out. And then the blue flames erupt out of him. And then they see, he sees the tail and stuff. And he's like, what the heck? And then he tries to like get Deku, but then he swings his sword. And like the, the fire, the blue fire hurts him. And then what happens to Deku is that he, um, what happens to such villains is that like, the sun villain, like, gets burned. Like, he's, he's, like, after that, he starts steaming. He starts turning, like, a little, like, a little bit, a little of him is turning to stone and steaming because of the heat. He sends it, like, yeah, so, and oh my, like, that oh my appears, like, I am here. I am here. And, like, he just sees Deku, like, this, this sludge villain, like, burned. It's like, what happened? And, like, the sl and Deku's like, oh, the sludge villain attacked me. And I just, like, protected myself. And, like, All Might's, like, impressed. Like, whoa, what's your quirk? And, like, he put, uh, at this point, he put his sheet, like, he, like, like, Deku, like, All Might, um, sees, like, Deku's blue flames. And Deku's like, oh, well, I don't, well, my, my quirk is like an uh, emitter quirk, and it allows me to erupt the blue flames all around my body. And then, yeah. And I don't really know what he's gonna call the quirk, quote unquote quirk. So, yeah. Anyways, what happens to Deku is that he does what he does. Like, he, like, uh, he didn't really latch on to All Might because he, um, yeah, because he doesn't, like, he, just, like he feels like he's going to be a good hero. He's more confident. So, what Deku does is that he, like, leaves. Deku didn't get one for all in this. Because I don't really want Deku to get one for all in this because, you know, he's the son of the, he's the son of Satan. Anyway, so... Deku, he, what he does is that, so now we're going to skip to this training, like the nine months of training, because I don't really do it, because I do the whole, like, De Bakugo getting attacked, so this one, I'm going to do, like, training, like the training, the semi-training arc, if you will, and Deku, like, he, like, he does, like, he like worked on swordsmanship. Like he like he trains more intensely. I mean his physical body. As long as it's like control of blue flames. And then what happens is that Deku he literally just like like, like he's like really good. And so and then yeah he's got a pyrokinesis. So, yeah, and then, yeah, that happens, and then, well, I'm gonna, I mean, like, he's, like, a really good swordsman, because he learned how to do, like, do, like, swordsmanship with his quirk, like, with his 
um, powers and like he's a swordsman cla swords classes and then like he's really good at swordsmanship so yeah so now so then he gets to the like not, and then he like gets like it's not now it's time for the UA entrance exam so what happens to Deku is that like he walks in and then he's like, like he, like he's like not paying attention. He actually trips. Like he, yeah, he's sure he's confident, but he's like, wow. And he trips, and then Uraka like catches him. He's like, oh, it's bad luck if you fall on this amazing journey or something like that. I don't know. I haven't re been really watching anime in a while. And then that happens that like he walks in. And that's where I'm going to leave it off for this video because I'm kind of tired and I'm not really going to do th three video, two, like three videos right now because it's pretty late. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do the next video early in the morning, I hope, so I could, you know, do the thing. And yeah, I... I hate myself because I keep stuttering and stuttering. So, yes. Yeah, so, if you guys can cut me some slack and don't, um, that don't like comment on me being a bad what if YouTuber, or not really, I don't know. Like, not, no, no one has done that yet, but I don't want you guys to do that because. I'm not good at making what-if videos yet. I'm going to try to learn and learn and learn. And this is my first attempt on this video. Because I don't want to redo this. As far as I've gone. So, that is it for this video. I'm going to put a poll up on this video. If you want me. If I should. To con uh, a poll to see if. Do you want me to. Do you want me to add demons in this video? Because, you know, I need a villain type S, S thing, type, yeah, thing in this, what if, so, yeah, should I add, what if, um, should I add, like, what, like, Deku getting, the, the demon being in this what if, because, you know, son of Satan, Satan, demons type stuff. So yeah, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll put the, up the poll and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cause I'm not gonna do the next what if because, well, it's pretty late out. So yeah, anyways, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, bye bye.